Hello loves, this is Renee and welcome back. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Dip into your love life for August. Let's take a look and see what's going on for August. We'll do the week ahead. Spirit, give me a message from my collective. What's going on in love from my collective? What's going on, please? Give me a message. I'm already feeling like there's someone in your energy. I feel like there's someone lingering. There's someone who... I feel like you are trying to distance yourself from, but they're still lingering in your energy. They haven't went anywhere. They're hoping that you haven't went anywhere. Oh, wow, these cards do not want to cooperate. Okay, what fell on the floor is the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like they <laughs> and I can't grab it there we go I've, I feel like the person on your mind they view you as the Queen of Pentacles they view you as someone very stable very accomplished they feel like you're well put together and that you check all of the boxes I'm feeling like when it comes to you and this person it seems like this is really confusing it seems like you know them you know this person very well but you don't it feels like they feel the same way about you like they know you I feel like you and this person are really connected really connected <laughs> look at this oh my goodness Okay, we got the Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Page of Cups. Wow. Okay. This energy. This is someone who you have a lot of love for. This is someone who you may have had a, a past relationship with. There may have been a past commitment. Someone who I feel like you gave a lot to. You gave a lot of energy to this situation. But I feel like you're the Queen of Cups. I feel like they're the, they're the Page of Cups. So I feel like this person did not give the same amount back in return. This person was very immature when it came to love. They were very immature when it came to showing you their feelings, showing you exactly how they felt, right? But I feel like, collective, I feel like you're the Queen of Cups. You have it all together. You show love very deep. And I feel like you gave this situation a lot what came out was the judgment card and the queen of swords so i feel like in this relationship somewhere along the line there was a turning point i feel like somewhere along the line you and this person had a falling out and this queen of swords i feel like this is your energy i feel like you had to pull back your energy you had to protect yourself you had to I feel like you and this person may have had an argument due to some kind of situation for some of you this could be a lack of commitment are wanting different things 
But for others, I'm really feeling like the feeling that they chose somebody over you. A feeling that they made a bad choice. A feeling that they made the wrong decision. And I feel like with this Queen of Swords energy, I, I think you confronted the issue. I think that you actually spoke your truth when it comes to the situation of how you felt, how you, how you viewed how they were living. I feel like you, you really told them about themselves, right? I feel like you, <laughs> I think you gave them a few words. And I think the way they took that was very sorrowful. I feel like what you said to them had them in their feelings. At first, their feelings was anger. I feel like this person was very angry at you at first. But I feel like over time, this person started to realize how right you really were. Tell me about... Ooh, tell me about how they feel. Uh, okay, this person views you as the Empress and the Four of Wands. Wow. So, I feel like this person sees you in your highest regard. I feel like this person admires you so very much. This person sees you as the end game. I feel like this person sees you as wife and material, as husband material. They see you as someone special, someone pure. Someone who, like I said, with the Queen of Pentacles, checks all the boxes you're the empress you're beautiful okay spirit tell me how this week is going to play out for my collective hmm okay let's share the world of tarot Okay, this is just the four card, but I feel like it's the beginning. Huh. You and this person may have a new beginning coming around. Something very shocking. On this card, we have, ooh, okay. On this card, we have the, the world. So I feel like something is coming around. Interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, we have... Now these are the way that they fell out. So I'm going to take them the way that they fell out. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Death card in reverse. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. And we have the Six of Swords in reverse. So. <clears throat> I feel like this person hasn't moved on. I feel like they're not able to move on from your situation. I, f I really feel like. They needed time to build up their courage, build their defenses. Because I feel like somehow, some way, they were intrigued. Because with you 
all at once their defenses just crumbled you have the death card in reverse this person is very reluctant to change they are having so much trouble with that and I've, I feel like as much as they're trying to change their situation they have fallen into habits we also have the knight of pentacles they have fallen into habits that are really hard to break it's hard to leave behind an old life if you will um, and I feel like they're having a lot of trouble with that they're having a lot of trouble deciphering between the changes that they need to make and the life that they want to live I feel like they are feeling like they're not capable like those habits those changes have them bound in a way that they can't break free they can't move forward I feel like with this knight of pentacles I feel like with this knight of pentacles this is a why am I getting a plea for help I feel like this is someone who is asking for help needing some kind of guidance because I feel like this person is kind of feeling like they're at a standstill like they're not moving backwards but they're not moving forwards they're just stuck in this cycle like there's nowhere left to go Spirit, give me a message. What is the outcome for this person for this week? What's going on this week? I hear silence. Everything just got really quiet. And I feel like that quiet is can be so loud. And it's almost heartbreaking. The energy that I'm feeling right now. Give me a message, Spirit. What is the outcome for this coming week from my collective? The Nine of Wands. Okay. The Five of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Okay, at the bottom we have the Magician, beautiful. Okay, my collective, I feel like with this Magician energy, we got strength underneath and the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Okay, what I think Spirit is saying is that this week is going to be a week of building up your courage building up your strength kind of staying away from conflict um moving away from people places and things that you know aren't bringing you value i feel like spirit is telling you to focus on yourself and to rejuvenate your mind body and soul and um, tap into your spiritual side and with the magician on the bottom I feel like it is a very good time to manifest to work on your manifestations on your dreams on your expertise and let go of fear let go of Anything that is binding you at the moment.
Spirit, give me a final message for my collective. Final message. Give me advice, a final message for my collective. The Six of Pentacles. <laughs> the Knight of Cups. And the Justice card. Wow. At the bottom we have the Six of Wands. Okay, Spirit. Oh, we have the Ace of Cups at the bottom as well. <laughs> and the Eight of Wands. Wow. Followed by the Three of Swords. And the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Spirit. Okay, what I feel like... There is something coming towards you that is going to bring balance in your life. It's going to be reciprocated. I don't even think I said that right. But both of these cards are a card of balance. The Six of Pentacles is equal give and take, you know? And the justice card, this is retribution, justice, you know, the universe making things balanced, right? And in the middle, we have the Knight of Cups. So this is some sort of offer coming in for you. If this is a love offer, this is from someone new because they want to offer something stable, something vital um, this isn't the same energy as what we had before so this is something very strong but it's stable it's it's giving you the feeling of having some kind of balance so I feel like where with your past person as much as you tried to give in the situation you just weren't able to receive the same thing and I feel like there's a new offer coming in that's going to bring you such balance S balance on two different levels okay that's what I'm feeling balance on two different levels you also have victory and love look the, the cup is overflowing with love in communication or action so big things are happening for you this week you can expect communication you can also expect maybe travel or moving forward in a very fast pace something may come at an impulse and with pinnacles this may be a job offer too this may be some money coming into your hands that Maybe something was taken from you in the past where now the universe is kind of balancing the scales. Returning what you had lost. So like I said, this could be in love. This could be a job offer. This could be just money coming in unexpected ways. But this is going to be a beautiful week. So... Take advantage. Very interesting. Okay, collective. I hope this helps. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And many blessings to you. Have a beautiful week. Love and light.